All right, here's a shot with Sal. Let's play this in full. Well, good night, Michael. It was a wonderful party. My date left with someone else. I had a lot of fun. Do you have any second off? All right. Now with this, I did some tweaks because uh, he gave me your Maya scene. So there was no sounds, but I just did some tweaks to the set, uh, some of the colors, a little blur, and some rough animation changes just to do a few things there. So the main thing that I did was I add a bit of a camera move just to kind of frame with her and then stop on her. I moved her. I just took the, the overall controller. I just moved her closer, backing him up a little bit. And then when she goes back, even through this, have her a little bit more lean this way. This was in yours already. And I think potentially leaning her. I can't remember. Let me look at uh, that last one. She is pretty far. But you can see the difference here between the two. And the reason being, I'm not a massive fan of photographs with CG models. Just because it's such a style break and it feels like... It's just two different worlds, um, and it was a bit, it was a bit um, uh, not wide, but just high in terms of framing. I put this back to a, a full 1080p. And maybe that was that was the way you play last at it, but. And he, to me, was a bit too profile because you get to see the eyes, so it's almost a little bit of I want to see back and forth. Do I want to check on what he's doing? And the reason why I framed him like this is because that we don't see the eyes whatsoever. It's just he's just there for framing. Uh, and there's there to well, kind of balance the frame a bit more as she talks. It was also a bit dark with all the lights in there. We'd have to have, you know, a lot of backlighting and everything. And then just, it just felt all a bit, a bit muddy. So I just put in a couple lights. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but just giving, just giving the focus a bit more on her. Uh, and just, I, this is whatever color. I just, I just like yellow at the moment. <laughs> so I just put a yellow on her and, and a different pants there just so that, you know, she stands out. Well, good night, Michael. She's already not shy to just have a bit too much to drink and, you know, bold colors and just getting away from some of the default colors as well. And then I just added a set, which I would highly recommend. That is from here. Bring this lower here. Rafael. He has a bunch of cool rigs, but also a living room pack, a kitchen pack, a bedroom pack, sci-fi interior. I'll put that in the email. Uh, it's super cool. I like this a lot. And then within this, you can see that's just the setup here. And then I moved, um, I just put the, you know, it's the set. And it's cool because the set has a bunch of controllers. So you can move things around however you want it. Uh, just a bunch of lights just to give this a bit of a different feel. So it's not, you know, it would totally work like this. But I don't know, there's something just giving a little bit in there. And you don't need depth of field. You know what I mean? It's really, it's really so subtle. But I like when the front is just, you know, with the uh, entire listing, just a bit crisper than everything being in focus. So it just there's a little bit of a difference in terms of how sharp the whole thing is. So yeah, that was just kind of small little things here and there just to kind of make this one world so that you have, you know, you have there's simple textures on, on those rigs and it kind of gets reflected also in the set. This feels to me like one world versus that kind of style, those kind of textures with lots of details and photo real stuff on a photo, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, I, that's my, my personal preference. And you ask, um, since you gave me the file, I thought I'll go in there and do something quickly. Now, when it comes to your shot, and I'm gonna turn off the sound, it's supposed to me it's mostly technical. I will be careful. I mean, I turned the camera around, so in my case, it was there were some eyeline issues where she was looking at the camera. But even here, it feels like with this, it's a bit more at us, while this is really far away. So I'd be careful in some of these. Like here, you can see how this feels like it's looking at his chest and it's looking way over to his right. So you have to adjust some of these. Here she feels really wall-eyed. And even here, it's a bit at him, but then that's really far away. So just watch out. In terms of like that feels a little bit better, but then that feels a bit too low where this feels a bit better eyeline wise. So that's one thing. The bigger technical thing to me are uh, IK arms. You can see this especially on here. There are a lot of straight lines and then moments like this when the body just through there starts to move while the arm still goes over there. And then it has like some drifty moments through there just timing wise. And then through all of this, the angle is mostly the same of the wrist. You can see this through there as she goes back. Like this, stuff like that where it's a straight line. The rotation is the same in the wrist. 
it just gets very uh, IK-ish looking. Sometimes it's nicely hidden. And then sometimes it gets, again, movements where it just stands out when you have bigger elbow movements. Some up and downs while this kind of stays put. You can see this here. This goes up. This kind of has its own path. If you play this in real time, it has kind of like a wobble. This is almost like a steady cam, kind of a gimbal type of thing where there's a lot of movement there, but that part just kind of stays fairly steady. So for me, it would be switching this. It might be trickier doing the drinking, but for the rest, you might get away with FK arms just to get away from that feeling, you know, stuff like that, where it's, there's a little bit of an arc, but then it goes really straight back into a straight line. That's the bigger thing. Then on something like this, watch out, we get into a W pose and it's, it's kind of mirrored. I know this is higher, I know this is lower, and and but I would still, I would still tweak things where there's a lot of liquid. I mean, if, you know, if you're moving this around, this water would splash out. I would maybe keep this a bit more contained despite her being slightly drunk or tipsy. And maybe gesture more with the shoes here. And then if you play this, here's the sound again here. So as she comes in, watch out. There's a couple elements where she comes in and then bam, that putting the glass right there, which again, with all that liquid, this, this would just fall out. So you have to be careful. You got to lower that geometry there and just have this, you know, this would be around here. So when she did, when she puts the wine back, the wine might be like this low. So just be careful. Like this would be all over her. Well, good night, Mike. But when she puts this, like right when that glass hits the head, that's when she looks over. This is a bit into the camera almost. Well, good night. So for me, it would be. Well, good night, Michael. Just offsetting this a little bit, where she might, she might even start here the shot instead of this low. So you have a bit more time for the drink and then I'm gonna give this maybe 10, 15 frames. And then she looks over. There's something to me where it's almost like the hitting of the glass makes her turn over well, good night, the head. I mean, well, good night, Michael. and I know she is, she had too much to drink and then, you know, movements gets very spliny on purpose. Well, good night, Michael. A wonderful party. The thing about uh, when you're drunk, is that you don't know you're drunk. <laughs> you try not to be, so it's less moving around and rrr, it's like you want to pretend that you're not drunk. So it's like you're trying to keep the head as steady as you can while the bottom part can be a bit more rrr. So Party. My date left with someone else. like bigger moves like this, A, from a technical point of view, you also look a bit stiff because My the date. whole thing is moving over, but you could do something where she would be either here and then move forward just like i had it in my in my tweak where you know you also as you're having slightly too much a drink you might forget personal space and that's why she gets so close so i will play with that a little bit with the closeness between the two characters and then keeping herself from from moving too much where it's again it's almost like you're trying to keep this still while the rest uh is kind of moving around it's kind of like the pivot is almost through there just from a from a mechanics acting Look at Michael. It was a wonderful party. My date left with someone else. I had a lot of fun. Give me second off. So right now, we have this as the big moment, which again to me is a bit too twin. And I think we can make this potentially a bit more interesting. Like this could be something where again, these are very destructive notes, but I always like to throw out some crazy ideas just so that you know you can throw them away, incorporate some things. But if she is like this, there might be in your set something where now she puts the glass down. And now it's less acting with this, but it's when she talks, she might lean forward, right? The way I had it. And she gets so tired that after this, she maybe plops her head on him, right? Hair falls down. So uh, like that, arms down. And she continues that dialogue resting on him after. Had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. Plum. Tiffany second off. So after she says that, you know, she's already going, she might be, again, this would be in a different composition where, again, he's a bit more, he's bigger in frame, taking up a bit more, and then she could just fall and rest her head on him. Like, to me, it's like, she has too much to drink. What could you do now with this situation to push some of the acting choices and make things just a bit more interesting, a bit more original? Which I know is a super lazy critique in terms of making more original, but that's, that's my thought in here, where it feels just a bit... They're walking, or she's walking, 
and then has a big twin gesture and then that's it and i'm wondering like what is the what is a special moment that you could put in potentially where the pose could be maybe something like this you know just kind of leaning and you can do the rest of this and and like in that pose and maybe that's when when he has kind of like that oh what, what's what's going on here maybe you know it's more about what we hear and that squished face while he has that kind of like what is going on here and then you can show off some uh, neat interaction you know between them like with the shoulder and the plop and all that stuff and that to me that sounds a bit more potentially interesting i know it's a bit of a pain <laughs> to add all that stuff but i think it will it will get her out of that kind of box where you can really push this with with a different kind of pose that you can almost hold on to it or again like the face just squished against his face i don't know that's just me but um that's what i have uh take it or whatever you want to want to use from from that as always totally up to you and let me know what you think we can always chat and emails uh, in terms of how you want to move forward all righty thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you